dinosaurs roamed our Earth millions and millions of years ago. Some of these dinosaurs were carnivores, which meant they mainly ate meat. Others were herbivores, which meant they mainly ate plant matter. And Adrian, some of the plants that these dinosaurs ate still exist today. They're called cycads and they're all around me. And it's incredible to think that they existed over 200 million years ago, even before dinosaurs were on our Earth. Let's go find out a little more about them. Cycads are the largest cone-bearing plants in the world. They have spiky foliage and colourful cones and bear a resemblance to palms. Cycads produce their seeds in cones in the centre of the crown of leaves. The cones are quite large and quite fleshy in appearance and even though they look edible, they aren't. Cycads have a thick soft stem or trunk made up mostly of storage tissue with very little true wood. The leaves form a large crown at the top of the stem. The primary root of the cycad is large and extends deep into the ground. And cycads are dioecious plants. That means they're separate male and female plants. Male and female cones are totally different. And it's not until the cone develops that you can actually determine what sex it is. The male cone is tall and skinny and stretched out. As it matures, it stretches out so it can shed its pollen. The cone itself will heat up to about four to five degrees above the air temperature and it sends out an intoxicating perfume that attracts a certain type of weevil. As for the female cone, seeds begin to develop to about the size of a pecan nut. As the female cone becomes receptive, the top of the cone splits open and another smell is released. The weevil is attracted to this smell and enters the female cone. The seed will release a jelly-like substance that will collect pollen from the weevil. And there you have it, the seed will then be fertilised. This particular weevil doesn't exist in Australia, so pollination is done by hand. Cycads are such clever plants because they're able to do this funky thing called nitrogen fixation, which helps them to survive in the drier climates. Nitrogen is an important part of living things. Most nitrogen comes from the soil. However, there is a lot of nitrogen in the air. Unfortunately, this nitrogen in the air can't be used by green plants. However, cycads have the ability to produce their own food through their coralloid roots. These contain blue-green algae, which combines with nitrogen in the air. So there you go, guys, a little more info on one of the world's oldest plants, the cycad plant. I still can't believe that dinosaurs used to actually eat these things. And speaking of eating, if prepared properly, did you know that the seeds and the pith from the stem of the cycad plant can also be eaten? So if it's okay with you guys, I'm gonna go and cook up a stool.